C4 initiated the first forest day in COP13 in Bali. It was a remarkable event because the gathering was participated by lots of stakeholders, including government, local community, and also private sector. Wait, what? So the first forest day in COP13 in Bali in 2007, we have six forest days, and the last one was COP18 in Doha, that was uh, Forest Day 6. In 2013, the UN General Assembly initiated the International Day of Forest, which is on the 21st of March, and we celebrated it uh, today with the theme of forest and food. Is deforestation reduced? Uh, yes, I should say yes, uh, and we have to be very proud about it. Uh, in many places, including big uh, tropical forest country like Indonesia, uh, emission reduction from uh, deforestation has been demonstrated and significantly reduced during the period of 2010 to 2020, and a lot of things can be demonstrated. Percentage-wise, probably is about 20-30% reduction. Deforestation is still taking place today with a very alarming rate. And when people are talking about deforestation, it's deforestation of natural forests like this. And we can imagine how much we are losing in terms of biological diversity. Not only trees, but also microorganisms wild species, animal, etc. play a very important role in the ecosystem. Not only carbon that we think about. This terrestrial ecosystem are very much being the culprit of the changing climate, so that it is important to keep the intact forest remains uh, conserved and protected, and the degraded forest uh, to be restored so that they can provide as much as services as possible. Our forest has a very crucial role in providing or regulating water resources so that they can provide water for agricultural system uh, consistently and um, with that uh, forests will also play an important role in securing food and um, also the uh, fact that forests are also home of so many uh, pollinators which has to be uh, there if you are thinking about uh, securing food production. Without pollinators you will be hungry.